So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me. Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, Grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Fair enough. Come say hi when you're back. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, th this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and 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 accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. I don't think. I've had that since. Huh. Who can remember? You, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us to give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. Or more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth, all the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? aren't from the Nine Realms. Smile there. Obsidiani Spitha. From 
smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Behind. The rest of the mask is here. It's where all father dropped us. What do you think? Just take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? What the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. We're gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. There. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. No, oh, what else? Throw you? Stay <laughs> young. I need a bigger sound. <laughs> 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 There's things up there hitting us with fire. Use your ball I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. But I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the All-Father waiting. Speaking of which, the mask. Right. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you...
Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Thalmor, Bronair, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms, and I reveled in every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play me. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look! Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. Where's the mask pointing us? The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed... Hey, come look at this. You're ready. Thor, what the? Wait, Surtur Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. Trials are just past that cliff. I can something you do to you. First, we deal with them. The Alpha! Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. The Alpha! An elder! You worry? Not in the slightest. Another ogre? Can I 
I get some help here? Since we're short on time, I'll humor you. Hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on! Give me a challenge! Now take it to that shrine. Jump! Thor's still busy. I should get to that shrine. Okay, that's where the mask wants us to go. But first, let's head to the shrine. We'll find the other piece when Thor gets back. The shrine's there. We should be able to climb down. Or, well, you'll fly, I assume. trust the Aesir? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspahan. It feels like forever ago. Here's the shrine. Ah! 
Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who is trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I, I... I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. <laughs> the question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. But are you sure you're after breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? It just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Ah, uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, huh. well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. 
I saw that in Grower's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just be careful. Please. You too, Loki.
angered. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the God of Thunder? Oh. Mountains of corpses by the time I finished cut down like that. The lava ran the rest of their blood. True, will. Great. You want to help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father? Hey, what's taking so long? of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Throod wouldn't love it. She'd be faring better than you at least. that at any time you seem to be handling yourself well enough i was trusting you so where to looks like we need to head through that gate oh yeah i had to do something while you were off fighting well check again anyways fine Alka. Through the gate, like I said. Thor? Ain't that impressive. Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I.
It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. Whoa! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. No. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do? Loki, <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a... Pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this. Figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy. Getting crystal. No, I get it. Something like that. It's... Well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands. I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. So, about the sword. Is Ingrid the name of the soul inside it? I wonder why I can't hear her. Soul? Who said anything up? Look, son, some free advice. You don't want to let anyone catch you talking to your sword. All right? That's a bad look.
Huh. Are you trying to... Whatever, man. Hey, you're back. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah. I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. It's confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. 
It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once. But believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another. For your own sake. this? Only when I worry. How would Atreus get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. Don't try to talk me into coming. The Norns and their tales of our fates, it's everything I've walked away from. Hang on! 
I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madame Nethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. Certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Exactly, do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. But maybe it's not the future that bothers you. 
Faye sent oh. you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And oh. you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no oh. further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. The raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seacrim. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Clever. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. Quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough.
Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. <laughs> oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. Thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home, is hard to explain. Old. Prepare for a fight. As I was saying, the Norn's home is called the Well of Ur. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, we <laughs> can each other's mind. <laughs> Not so sure I like the sound of that. Amir, have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Freya's right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. <coughs> Freya, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. 
Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate, which only made me more determined to try. This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what, exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. Only your wolves can help us find the Norns. is up here I don't feel anything it's not related to the norns could be interesting enough in its own right what's that outpost I've expanded my inventory since we last spoke whatever you need I'll create Vanier Crest? Quite the prize. Whatever you need. I am, as always, at your service.
must have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Brother, what of your story? You face the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. I can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin Something had it... need to do before we find the Norns. I scouted ahead. The lake's crawling with raiders. Be careful. I'm here for you. Well, if you change your mind... Finding the Norns is not about altering events, yeah? I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent. And cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was there. warm. Can you cut a way through the ice? <laughs> oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell them to be here. Incoming fire! The Alpha! did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know the 
this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Stronger this time. Over here. Open up. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful.
Minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> Seems he was guarding that way outside.
This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Of the AC. 
Ah, here we go. Counselor to kings. Merry wanderer of the woods. Robin of the good fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. <laughs> Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Lemire. Hmm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! What the hell? Look at that thing! Keep 
shield if you're not going to use it. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you? Babbling. <sighs> Oh, that looks 
official. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Bowser, come back! Talk to me! I am so sick of your constant menace! Oh! What you did to me! Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. Mimir! Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Don't lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought favor. You plotted his war. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you never gave a damn until you turned on you. I know, secret. It's true. For the love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace. An ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Roma? Or to Tanya? No! You only took the side of the powerful dead! You! Brother, watch out! There's four of them! Even now, you see a violent god in need and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! It's who you always did! It's who you are! And it's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Come get me, brother. The tree is getting tighter. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mumir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Daddy, hold me! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I dare you see him the way he wants to be seen! I am here! Why didn't you trust your own son? 
Don't let him take me! Betrayal. I'm scared! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? Test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. 
You will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard. And you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt Omni. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is, how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahort. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point.
Kratos, I see something. Up there. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to... If I don't have it, you don't need it.
What can I make for you? Anything for Freya? Fashionable. What do you need? Whatever you need, whenever you need it. Like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Time. Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well then, what else, friends? About Neethog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods show the interest they... Perhaps later. Ah, a busy man, I see. Don't let me keep you. You're back. They're back. Simmer down, I see them. At your service. I'll disinfect my tools. And for the Valkyrie Queen? Something in mind? I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. 
I suppose there's nothing to do but go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Bo didn't blame me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. You ready to go? See you out there. To go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh no! This whole thing were my Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I have to. heard him. Quit your friend. 
I ain't gonna mess nothing up. Think that'll keep us out? We'll think the fuck again. What was all that then? No, oh, just Sentry trying to hog off. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lair been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion that you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. and explosives. Might have earned that one. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. This oil spill. Oh! <laughs> 
Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. His fault Atreus ran off with you. Or are you just being Brock's champion? What are you insinuating, Highness? Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against God and won. I am not their champion. We're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> Cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in plain. It's not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that frosted strip. Sigil arrows should work with ice as well. 
Not quite. Just find the right angle. Digital arrows won't work on it.
is open. That was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. seen these drops yeah. before, haven't we, brother? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok. That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place is protecting your child can be.
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your face. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to your son? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. <laughs> it's no use without water in the trough. Let me know if I can help with that. Brother, don't give up. I'm certain we can get that gate open.
no use without water in the trough. That's a start. without water in the trough. without water in the trough. without water in the trough. without water in the trough.
use without water in the trough. Yeah. No use without water in the trough.
I'll bug up the two of them. And they're angry. Behind your brother! Behind you, Kratos! Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Long as you know that ain't the way to the fort. He's coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine.
Hang on. Almost got it. Hey. Well, come on in, stranger. You never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and scare them all. Coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get closer. Hey, Bartlett! I don't know what you're waiting for. I'm right here. Looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this limb? Notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Block than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crane and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Cover. 
You do the other stuff. We need a new vantage point, brother. <laughs> ah, promising. Again. Got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. What? If the angle you needed to find was down there, you'd have found it already.
ain't going nowhere. Hey, where are you going? We got to figure this out or we ain't going nowhere. the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Can we get up any higher from here? I think they seen us. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch 
at what you can. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on! I smell trouble. Say good morning! creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noka. But Sindri had never had it, said a two-on-two. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No! It does not you. work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way! Let me look. Ah, all fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, you'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece. But the one she does, there's something to be holding. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. The only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plum dropped. <laughs> Fine, there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
I, uh, uh, I, uh, uh. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might. Bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not at all. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done.
Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look, we got volunteers! <laughs> <laughs> It is the first weapon a Spartan learned. What the hell? Ain't this just like old times? I'm going to put it more forebodingly myself. Another factor is by the fact on high. <laughs> <laughs> See that weak spot? Jam one in right there. Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to make. Guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. <sighs> Come <laughs> on. 
guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Still my balls making over them ground. We better beat them out. Show me what you got! Brother, get up! Brother! For your next lesson, take note of that there, watch out. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever's you need. It's all about the proper angle with those puppies. You want it. I'm telling you, you're too far to decide. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. You get extra credit. One last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call it square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? 
That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those Grim will take him down. Uh, nope. Uh, you like this? Enough heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder.
Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it orkin and borkin. Oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands. On your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. The Alpha. Careful, brother. There's someone in my thoughts. Get 
Any given number of drop me your spears, I suppose. Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Hmm. <laughs> 